congrats. This is a great, ambitious, amazing, awesome series. So congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. It's uh, it was it was a lot. I mean, this is uh, coming up on three years to make a single season of television. And in my background, I think I've done a year where I did three seasons in one one year. So this is a bit of a this is literally the most ambitious thing I've ever uh, been a part of, um, including getting my shoes on this morning. <laughs> I can imagine. Um, um, is it is it true that um, um, you and Geneva uh, wrote the ghoul with Walter Goggins in mind? And if so, why? Uh, yeah, we kind of it, it is true. We wrote it, the the ghoul with Walton in mind. It was that was also an ambitious move. Uh, the entire time we were just sort of asking ourselves, well, what's a show I'd watch? Uh, it, you know, it's a very basic exercise of like versus making television television versus television i'd watch which is like five percent of it uh and we kind of were just always asking ourselves like what would make us have to watch this show and yeah uh the idea of walton goggins is a uh deranged old cowboy wandering the wasteland uh was a pretty appealing starting point and you know you just want to make the job exciting to show up to every day the fact that he said yes was the second thing that was very surprising, uh, and, and we were very stoked about that, obviously. But Right. So in heading into this, which is a mammoth undertaking, what was your main vision to make this digestible, embraceable for audiences? Because Fallout 3 was, you know, a, an amazing game, and, and, you know, so this is quite a leap, so... Yeah, well, I mean, Fallout 1 was an amazing game and utterly confusing to play when I played it at first because it, it felt like it was a mix between XCOM and uh, Doom and all these very strange, you know, it was just so many flavors. And we kind of settled on a very another very simplistic idea, which is just Fallout is a vibe. And, uh, it, you know, if the show can kind of embody that feeling, we're doing great. Um, uh, yeah, so that was sort of the very simplistic goal with this thing. And, and I'm surrounded by fallout stuff. So I feel like I've been consumed by the vibe. Uh, <laughs> so. Right. Why was it important to focus the series on the three main characters? We have um, obviously yeah. Google and um, and Ella's character and uh, Aaron's character as well. So maybe you can describe that thought process. Well, we only have eight seasons to do, or sorry, eight episodes to do the first season. Uh, and it's a really limited amount of time to sort of showcase a world that is so massive. We're talking about like uh, video games with like a thousand hours plus of playing time. Um, you know, if you're just sort of going through it and you get to learn about the world that way. So it was sort of partly we didn't want to make a decision. Another part is like, let's let's make let's do the everything bagel of this thing um and and be able to sort of not decide show, show the brotherhood of steel show the the life of the sort of new vegasy life of a of a lonesome drifter and then to the classic story of the the vault dweller um which is in so many of the games as well so it yeah, was a big we talked a lot about the good and the bad the ugly did the same thing which is sort of you could access the the wild wild west through three different you know very different characters if you could sum up this series in one or two words, how would you describe it? Uh, if I could, I, I it wouldn't be eight hours long. <laughs> uh, sorry, I wish I could. I'm really, I've been asked that before and I'm just sort of like, I don't know. Uh, Brill Cream Kyle McLaughlin. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's one. Um I'll have another one for you tomorrow. I wish I had a better, a snappier version of that. I'm sorry, but. Nice. And just one last question for you. Are you happy with what is going on with the next office, the office? Oh, uh, that, that's been rumored to be happening. I don't, happy, sad, I don't know. Yes, I'm happy that for the sake of television, for there to be more television. Uh, I mean, I was... They're only on the last season. I felt like I arrived in the, the part for the Vietnam War where they're pushing the helicopters off the plane. So it's not really it's something I was a, a witness of, but not necessarily uh, uh, had ownership over, but uh, at all. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited. I hope those guys make a 
bring half hour comedies back. That'd be great. Nice. Hey, congratulations. It's uh, really great to connect with you. And this is really a mammoth undertaking. So congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. 